Captain's log, stardate 46543.2. While en route to Starbase 112, the Enterprise detected electromagnetic energy emanating from a barren M-class planet near the Romulan neutral zone. Lieutenant Commander Data has led an away team to investigate the source of the energy. Sir, we found something. We have found the energy source. It appears to be a metallic crate of unknown origin. There are two locks on the crate. I believe I can open them by hand. Are there any signs of radiation? No, sir. All energy readings are within safety parameters. May I open the crate? Proceed. The crate appears to be holding a woman in cryosleep. She has been in this state for at least 10 years. Is she OK? Yes, sir. Though I do not understand how. Clarify. Sir. The woman appears to be Lieutenant Tasha Yar. Der Weltraum, unendliche Weite. Wir befinden uns in einer fernen Zukunft. Dies sind die Abenteuer des neuen Raumschiffs Enterprise, das viele Lichtjahre von der Erde entfernt unterwegs ist, um fremde Welten zu entdecken, unbekannte Lebensformen und neue Zivilisationen. Die Enterprise dringt dabei in Galaxien vor, die nie ein Mensch zuvor gesehen hat. Captain's log supplemental. Dr. Crusher has confirmed that the woman locked in cryosleep is indeed Tasha Yar. We have postponed our travel to Starbase 112 in order to further understand what has happened. Tasha has been moved from sickbay and is now residing in a stateroom. Counselor Troy has been assigned to watch over her. She seems better. Hopefully today the captain will let her see the rest of the crew. Well, I, for one, can't wait to see her. It's almost like we've been given a second chance with her. So you said she's been sleeping 13, 14 hours a day? That's right. I've got to check on her later, but I didn't want to break our date. Good morning. How are you feeling? Still groggy. You were asleep for a very long time. It's to be expected. I have good news. If you're feeling up to it, Captain Picard would like to speak with you. Oh, I can leave the room? Do you feel well enough? Come. Hello, Tasha. Captain? Good to see you again. The fiend's mutual. Please sit down. I 
I know this must be very difficult for you. Frankly, we are at a loss to know how you are even alive. We need to ascertain what happened to you. Tell me, what do you remember when you awoke in sickbay? I remember my daughter. I was trying to escape with her. And then, there's nothing. Do you remember the Enterprise C? Yes, I traveled with the crew through a wormhole. Then you are aware that you are not from our universe? Yes, sir. In this universe, I died during the first year of our voyage. In my universe, we are at war with the Klingons, which is not the case here. I was spat out by the wormhole, and I was captured and taken prisoner by the Romulans and forced into marriage and gave birth. We have encountered your daughter, Sela, several times. She is a Romulan commander. She told us that when you tried to escape, you were apprehended and executed. Why would she say that? I don't know. However, we have come to learn that Sela is not to be trusted. I think it's time for you to meet some old friends. All senior officers, report to the bridge. The only familiar face you've seen so far is Dr. Crusher. Tasha, it's good to see you. Yes, it's never been the same without you. It is good to see you up and about. You have a Klingon on board? Yes. We served together aboard the Enterprise. We held a mutual respect for one another. Tasha, let me introduce you to Ensign Roe Laren. I've heard a lot about you. It's an honor. I'm so happy to be with you all again. This is a different world than I'm used to. A much more peaceful world. That's not exactly a bad thing. Hopefully soon, I'll be part of the crew once again. That would be wonderful. I think I'll go to my stateroom now. As you wish. Tasha, if you are available later, may I visit you? Of course, Data. Thank you. That was strange. Not really. In this universe, you once had a relationship with Data. I did. So, what do you think? Well, she acts like Tasha. Is it not her? It could be a clone. Yes, but why would the Romulans clone Tasha only to bury the clone on the side of a mountain? Dr. Crusher has found no evidence to suggest that she is a clone. All the tests she's run suggest that this is Tasha, albeit from another universe. Does she believe it to be the same Tasha who mothered Sila? That is the current assumption. Captain, with your permission, I'd like to research the situation further. I think taking Dr. Crusher's medical readings and combining that with Data's tricorder readings from the site, together I can make a holodeck program. Maybe I can find what we've been missing. Make it so. Mr. Data, when you meet with Tasha later, please report to Mr. LaForge with your findings. Dismissed. All right, computer. We have a lot of work to do, and I'm going to need some help. Run program LaForge Brahms 3. Hello, Jordy. What can I help you with? I need you to help me run some tests. Enter. May I come in? Please. I am sorry if I was too forward earlier. Oh, no, Data. I'm happy to spend time with you. The only person that's visited me so far has been Counselor Troy. And where I come from, I never knew her. There's no need for counselors when you're in a constant state of war. It's nice to talk with someone like you, someone I was friends with. It's good to spend time with you as well. So what was I like when you knew me, Data? You were Chief Tactical Officer, Head of Security aboard the ship. And you were considered a close friend to many of the crew, including myself. In fact, your death helped me to better understand human relationships. I see. Tell me, what was it like being a human living amongst Romulans? 
I was a consort to a general, so I lived as good a life as a human could live there. Hmm. And your daughter, Sila, what was she like? I tried to instill human values in her, but her father was so overbearing, I doubt that any stayed with her. If you are interested, I would like to show you the recording you made to be shown at your funeral. I believe it would help you better to understand your relationship with the rest of the crew. Yes, I would like that. You must move faster. You are improving. Continue your practice of Mark Barak, and soon you will be one of my finest students. Looks like you could use a better opponent. We are finished here today. What's wrong, Klingon? Afraid a female will defeat you? I fear nothing. You should fear me. I've killed hundreds of Klingons, some with my bare hands. I hear you took over as security officer when I died. I bet the crew's never felt quite as secure since. Ensign Rowe, watch and learn. I haven't seen Klingon blood in years. When she died, we all felt a great loss. Everyone rejoices to have her back. I, on the other hand, still mourn the loss of my friend, Tasha Yar. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine. Data's readings show a high level of anti-protons in the area. That gives weight to our theory. It also shows a significant level of tachyons present. Tasha's medical record says she was emitting tachyons. Emitting tachyons? Yeah. At first we thought she simply absorbed the tachyons from the area. If that were the case, She'd be emitting a smaller amount now. If it's the same... Then it'd be cut and dried. Crusher needs to run more tests. LaForce to Captain Picard. Go ahead, Geordie. I need to speak with you immediately. Commander Riker and I are on our way. Picard out. Is there something I can do? Data. This isn't my world. I don't belong here. You and I have something in common. You are not natural to this universe. Nor am I. However, unlike you, I have accepted that I am unique to this universe. There are no other beings known to exist that are as I. Since I am here, there must be a reason for my existence. You are also here, Tasha. Therefore, you are meant to be. I hope so. Data, Counselor Troy told me that here, we once had a relationship. That assumption is correct. Were we a couple? No. Was it an ongoing thing? We were only intimate once. How was it? You seem to be enjoying yourself immensely. However, you later claim that the incident never occurred. I'm sorry. There's no need for apology. You have always been special to me because of this.
What have you found, Mr. LaForge? Captain, I'd say Tasha was left here fairly recently. How? The disruptor blasts the Romulans used to break the rock and leave the crate left residual antiprotons. Dr. Brahms? Yeah, she's a program I created to help me figure this out. I see. And you're certain the Romulans were here recently? Yeah, I'd say within a week, but we'd have to run more tests to be sure. What kinds of tests? Dr. Crusher found that Tasha's body was emitting tachyons. Tachyons? Yes. She assumed when she saw Data's tricorder readings that the area was filled with tachyons and that Tasha's body was merely leaking what she had absorbed. And if you run a full body scan and the tachyon levels have subsided, then we can assume that Dr. Crusher's readings are correct. However, what we think you'll find is that the tachyon emissions are relatively constant. Which means what exactly? She's sending and receiving transmissions. Ricardo Data. Data here. Join us on the bridge. I am on my way. Data out. Do you have a plan, Mr. LaForge? Yes, sir, I do. Let's hear it. Well, I'd like to fire a few probes to create a tachyon detection grid. Like we did during the Klingon Civil War? Exactly. A cloaked Romulan ship entering the grid will disrupt the tachyon field. We'll know exactly where it is. You said you believe that Tasha is sending and receiving transmissions via tachyon emissions. Yes, sir. Is there any precedent for this kind of communication? Not that I'm aware of. Is Tasha aware of these transmissions? No, sir, I do not believe she is. Picard to Councillor Troy. Here, Captain. Please escort Tasha Yar from her room to sickbay immediately. Is everything all right? We'll discuss this later. Picard out. Picard to Dr. Crusher. Yes, Captain. I'm sending Tasha to sickbay. Please alert me when she arrives. Picard out. Goodbye, Dr. Brahms. Good day, gentlemen. Computer, end program. Mr. Wharf, prepare three probes. We're creating. Captain, there's an energy reading 800 meters ahead. Raise shields. <laughs> Severe damage on deck seven and eight. Return fire. Evasive maneuvers. Uh, Tasha? Fire photon torpedoes. Acquainted with my mother. Now that she's taken control of the bridge, she will pilot the Enterprise back to Romulus, where I will deliver the Federation flagship to the Senate as a gift. The Federation will retaliate. That will mean very little with the Enterprise and her crew on display in the Romulan capital. The psychological blow to the Federation will be profound. I assume the Romulan High Command is unaware of your activities. Assume what you will, Captain. All that matters is that I am now in control of your ship. And you turned your mother into some sort of bioweapon to do it. My mother's fate is no concern of mine. She is human. How? I blocked all tacky on the missions from the warbird. Tasha, are you all right? Yes, sir. Shields are back online, Captain. Return fire. Aye, Captain. 
Direct hit. Their weapons array is now offline. The ship has entered warp. Welcome back, Lieutenant Jia. You saved the Enterprise. Are you all right? Tasha! Medical emergency. Crush her to the bridge. At least now my death has purpose. Data? I'm here. How is Geordie recovering? Dr. Crusher says he'll be out of sick bay within a few days. And you? Physically, I'm fine. Mentally, I'm still a little shaken. Understandably so. What are your findings, Mr. Data? It appears the Romulans had altered Tasha's DNA. Her introns were mutated to send and receive tachyon emissions. When the Warbird left the system, the tachyon emissions ceased, and so did her bodily functions. Her body will be returned to Earth for burial. I suppose we should be on our way to Starbase 112. Dismissed. Captain. Yes, Mr. Data. You were with me when Tasha passed on. Her final words were, my name. Why would she choose my name to be her final statement? Perhaps she felt comfort in your presence. You did spend a fair amount of time with her before her death. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Come. I requested that Tasha be assigned to the Enterprise all those years ago. She was one of the bravest people I've ever known. And now we've lost her for the second time, after, by some miracle, that she'd been returned to us. Some things are never meant to be. Some things aren't, but we should be happy for the things we have. Go ahead, number one. You wanted me to notify you when we're an hour away. Yes. Thank you. Picard out. Some things were never meant to be. Adieu, Natasha. Natasha.